Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making complimentary colored monsters. And it's going to look a little something like this. Alright guys, I'm going to get started. And I hope you guys will join along with me. Alright, see you in a bit. I hope you have your sheet of paper ready and if you don't you can always pause the video remember we are making complimentary colored monsters today on our sheets of paper and if you guys made the last lesson which was our complimentary colored turtle you can grab it and refer to it and you can decide which two complimentary colors you want to make so as a refresher these two could be red and green, yellow and purple, or orange and blue. Because remember, complementary colors are across from each other. I'm thinking I might want to use purple and yellow. All right, so I picked my two colors. Now I'm gonna start drawing my monster. So you can turn your paper vertical, or it can be horizontal. I like vertical, I think. So first things first, I'm going to make my monster's head or body. I'm just going to draw the head like really close up, but you can draw the body if you want to. So I'm going to pick a shape. I like organic shapes, so I'm going to just kind of do like a little maybe lopsided type head situation here. And then my monster needs some eyes. So I think I'm gonna do this and then like a little one. And then whatever shape your eyes are gonna be. And of course, this is your monster. I'm just giving you the basic directions on how to create one you can do what I'm doing or you can do something totally different or you don't have to do it at all but on mine I think I'm going to add some irises and some pupils because those are always fun for me to draw so there's that I also think I want to make a girly monster so I'm going to add some eyelashes to her. Like this. Now she needs a nose. I'm thinking maybe like this. Hmm, looks cool. Now she needs a mouth, and since mine is coming off of the page, her mouth is going to have to come off the page. Maybe she'll have a really big open mouth since we can only see half of it. Like this. And then she's smiling because I'm doing a happy monster. And her teeth are going to be pointy teeth. Then I'm going to draw some on the bottom. Remember guys, this can be whatever kind of monster you want. Now I want her to have hair. And this is kind of like what I have in my head. Some kind of swirly situation. like this and do I want to put ears do I have room for ears that's the question eh, no I don't like that so once you get to your stopping point with how you want to draw your monster you stop and then the way we're going to color this is our monster is going to be 
primarily one color of our complementary colors and our background is going to be another color. I want my background to be yellow. And then remember my monster is going to be mostly purple. So I'm going to do yellow for my background first, I believe. Yes. And then the other cool thing about this is it can be however you want. And this is just, you know, again, review, learning our colors and learning color theory, complementary colors. And you can make as many monsters as you want to as well. Like I'm using a really small sheet of paper and you can use a small sheet of paper and you can make like a whole family of monsters. You could even get a really big sheet of paper and make a family of monsters on the same sheet of paper. And they can all have a different background, like um, maybe a smoke cloud or something that follows them around. And that's how you can distinguish between their different backgrounds. You could even have like a really scary monster. Thinking about how colors make people feel sometimes. I know yellow is a really happy color which is probably why I'm choosing it to make my happy monster. So I have yellow in my background. And then I'm going to get my purple and start coloring my monster. And of course, I'm not gonna color my entire monster purple because that would look a little crazy but I am going to color most of it purple because I want to be able to look at her and say, oh wow, she's made out of complementary colors. So all the background is yellow. This is going to be purple. And I actually have another purple marker. So I'm thinking I can do some cool stripes on her hair and then fill in some of the other parts of it, maybe with some pink. I think that would be really cool. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, guys. So it looks like I am using blue on here, but I promise in person it is a purple. And I started coloring with, you know, the regular purple, and I thought that this violet color would be more interesting with it as well. So that's what I'm doing. Hey guys, so I have as much purple on here as I want. So now I'm going to color the rest of it and I'm gonna color the rest of it with some neutral colors. That way, since they're neutral, the yellow and the purple will stand out more. So when I look at it, I'll know, okay, this is my yellow and purple complementary colored monster. And to go over what our neutral colors are, they are gray, brown, and black. But I think for this one, I might just use gray and black because brown is kind of clashing a little bit with my purple and yellow. It stands out a little because this is a warmer brown. So I think I want to keep them more neutrally neutral like this gray and this black. So I'm going to color with those and we will see the finished project product.
Okay guys, so this is how my complimentary colored monster turned out. And I hope you guys like it and I hope that yours looks as awesome. Actually, I know yours looks as awesome, even better than mine. And I hope you guys used lots of different colors and you created really cool monsters in your own way. I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, peace, love, art, and stay safe. Bye.